This episode's community partner is Mix, a retail store located on Michigan Avenue in downtown Ypsilanti, Michigan. Mix lives up to its name by offering an eclectic mix of new and gently used women's clothing, accessories, gifts, art, furniture, and household goods. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clash of the Creators. I am your host, Holly Ekoijanor Eche. On today's episode, we will watch as two teams of artists work under pressure and in collaboration. Let's meet our artists. My name is Elise Jacobson. I'm 24. Um, I'm from Dexter, Michigan, and I'm a sculpture major. The mediums I generally work with are um, wood, um, metal, like steel, and recently I've been doing a lot of bronze pouring. My name is Ryan Lyles. I'm 20 years old. My hometown is Southfield, Michigan, and my major is marketing. The mediums that I usually work in are photography um, and also paints, mostly acrylics. Um, I also like a lot of spray paint, airbrush materials, um, but mostly 2D mediums. I'm Jordan. I am 23 years old. I live in Canton, Michigan, and my major is communications and theater arts. My disciplines include music, theater, and photography for the most part. My name is Katie Hale. I'm 22 years old. I grew up in Wayne, Michigan, and my major is fine arts with a concentration in painting. The majority of the mediums that I work with in art include paint, but of course I, I, I do explore mixed media pieces and things like that. Before we begin today's challenge, I'd like to introduce you to the president of AMP, Heather Mapstone. Good morning, Holly. Good morning, Heather. Hi, artists. Hi. On behalf of AMP, I would like to thank you so much for participating in our TV show, Clash of the Creators. As you may know, our mission for AMP is to create opportunities for EMU artists just like yourself. We really believe that creativity breeds creativity. The judges, I know, can't wait to see what you create, and we'll see you tomorrow at Critique. For every episode of Clash of the Creators, we provide a mentor that is a professional in the field of the challenge. Today's challenge is installation based and we have a mentor that is a Ann Arbor native who graduated with a Bachelor of the Fine Arts degree from the University of Michigan. After graduation, he spent two years doing retail display before beginning a 25 year career as a designer in the gift industry. In 2005, he expanded his work by becoming a certified fairyologist where he studies and reports on the behaviors of urban fairies and their fairy doors. Ladies and gentlemen, today's mentor is Jonathan Wright. Thank you, Holly. Now, Jonathan will be advising you on your final challenge and will be helping you along in the process. But before we do so, we're going to do something called a flash clash. Hello, artists. The Hello. flash clash will consist of, first, spending five minutes getting oriented in mix and getting inspired by the store. And then we will have buckets for you to choose from. You will choose your bucket and inside you will find surprise supplies. And under the lid of the bucket will be a color which will designate which teams you are on. You will then split up into your teams and you will have 15 minutes to create a sign for mix with the, using your combined supplies and then that will be used in your final challenge. You will have 15 minutes. Ready, set, go. Go. <laughs> I was excited. I love the mix. It's a, like an incredibly inspirational place already. So um, I don't know. I was definitely excited to hear that we were going to be there, or well, to see that we were going to be there because it was kind of a surprise to all of us. So I had a feeling that it would be somewhere on campus or very more, you know, school involved. But the fact that we were in just like downtown Ipsy, I mean, it's more. It feels like a more community kind of thing, and to be a part of mix, it's great. I really like that idea. Just kidding. I really like the mix. I actually just went there for the first time like earlier this month and I happened to be there like last night seeing a show and so it was cool to go there again and just like check everything out, look at everything from like an inspiration point of view, trying to get inspired by what's already there and what can you create. So. All right artists, time's up. 
Now that you've found your inspiration throughout the store, we are going to have you lift your lids. <laughs> okay, now separate into teams. You have 15 minutes to create a sign. Get going. There was very little material to work with, and that's where the challenge really came in, is trying to figure out how to make words out of these random like foam pieces. There was one point where we actually didn't know that parts were sticky um, to keep them together, so we were trying to use gravity to keep it down, and we were trying to uh, just do everything. We were trying to use the little uh, like friction from the top, from the bottoms of a bottle cap. Overall, it was a really just like like on the spot. Um, it was a 15 minute challenge and it, it was good. It definitely uh, made us think about what we had to do. I don't know. I think it was just way different because people are watching me. Normally I'm just doing my own thing and maybe somebody comes over and, or I have the whole studio to sweat myself, but you know, having all those people around me and then, you know, the cameras too. <laughs> it was, I think it made it way more. I mean, I was trying to string fishing wire through these holes and my hand was shaking and I was drinking coffee all morning because I was kind of nervous. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up, you guys. Please put down your craft materials and step away from the artwork. And no one will get hurt. Okay. What have you done? <laughs> well, it was intended to um, have a little bit of a lean. Uh, unfortunately, it had a little bit too much of a lean. Uh, but after gravity got to it a little bit more, kind of pulled it down, fell over, and uh, it became a performance piece. So, I don't know. It was it was tough. I, I definitely felt myself sweat. So. I always thought we did a good job, but I thought the other team did a really good job too, actually. I really liked their like sculpture approach to it. All right. After much deliberation and considerable whispering, we have made a decision. And the winner is the blue team. Oh. Congratulations, blue team. Awesome. As the winner, you will get an advantage in our final challenge. The final challenge will be creating an installation in the window of mix. So your advantage will be that you will get to choose which window you would like to create your installation in. So you can choose the larger window that does not have a backdrop, or you can choose the smaller window that does have a backdrop as well as a door that closes. Next, we will have both teams go back to the studio and you will have five hours in the studio to create your installations. And then tomorrow you'll have two additional hours to install those windows. Everybody ready? Yeah. 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 Go teams. <laughs>